Hi! Welcome to Don's Skate Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can connect, publish, and subscribe to your MQTT broker with an ESP32 or ESP8266 board using the Arduino framework. I have here my ESP32 board and my Mosquito MQTT broker together with an MQTT client using an application called MQTTX. Then, using the publish and subscribe model of MQTT, then we are going to control the built-in LED of our microcontroller board. For example, if I publish an on message on the LED topic, then the built-in LED of my ESP32 should turn on since my ESP32 is subscribed to this same topic. If I send an OP message, then it should turn off the built-in LED. At the same time, we are sending the built-in Hall Effect sensor read of our ESP32 board and display its value every 10, 10 seconds. So, the ESP32 will publish a message on the topic Hall Effect, which contains the internal reading of our Hall effect sensor inside our ESP32 board. So, let's go to the component setup. I have here my ESP32 and in the background is my Mosquito MQTT terminal. I will be using an application called MQTTX that will serve as my MQTT client. As you can see, I am subscribed to the topic Hall effect and what is happening is I am receiving messages from my ESP32 every 10 seconds. So as you can see, this is 0947 and then 1947 and it's now 39. So which means that I am receiving the messages coming from my ESP32 every 10 seconds. The ESP32 is the one publishing the message to my MQTT broker. And my MQTT X acts as my subscriber since I am subscribed to the Hall Effect topic. On the other hand, let's see this one. If I am going to send an, an on message on my to the MQTT topic LED. Oops. And I'm going to click this button. Then you can see that the built-in LED in my ESP32 turned on. And if I send an off message, then you would notice that the LED turned off. Let's try again. And then turn off. which you can see also from here. If we take a look at our Mosquito MQTT broker, so this is my F Mosquito MQTT broker terminal, and let's try sending or publishing messages. And I click on, then you would see that I, am, I have published to the ESP32 client, and, and at, let's try off. Then you would see that I have published again, sending the publish command to my MQTT broker and the ESP32 built-in LED turned off. Would you like to know how this code works? Then let's start exploring. So, I will be using a library called PubSub Client by Nick O'Leary and the code that I will be showing you is available in my GitHub repository. I have used Visual Studio Code and Platform IO in developing this application. But any code in here is available also even if you are using the Arduino IDE. So let's go to the code which is in, the, in my main.cpp. I have here the required imports. And we just need to import these three, three files. 
So I have here the Arduino, the Wi-Fi, and the PubSub client. I'm using a Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller, which is an ESP32, but you can use also an ESP8266 in your case. Then, at this point also, we have to define the built-in LED that we are going to control through MQTT. Next, we need to set the SSID and password according to your network configuration. Also, we need to define the MQTT server and port. Right now, I am using a local Mosquito MQTT broker. So, this is my laptop IP. You can change your setup to point it to your desired MQTT broker. Then, there's also the two topics that we are going to subscribe or publish. So, in this case, this is the whole effect, which is the one that I have shown you before using the MQTTX, and the subscribe topic, which is the LED. Also, we just need to declare our PubSub client by using the Wi-Fi client that we will initialize later. This part of the code will be used for as a template for publishing our message. The setup Wi-Fi is used to connect to our Wi-Fi network. And then we have here a callback function that the client will call when an MQTT message arrives. As you can see, we are just extracting the message and I am adding a logic here that if the message is on, like this, then I will turn on the LED. Otherwise, we need to turn it off. Also, there is only one topic that we have subscribed, so there is no need to inspect the topic. But, if you are subscribed to multiple topics, then you need to check what topic this MQTT message is all about. The function reconnect, as you can see in here, is just used to connect to our MQTT broker. We're just creating a unique client ID in here so that we can avoid naming collision when we are connecting to a public MQTT broker. The interesting part of this code is in this line where we subscribe to an MQTT topic using the method client.subscribe. In the setup function, we just need to initialize our serial monitor and our GPIO pins. And then, we need to connect to our Wi-Fi. At this point, we can now set our MQTT broker and assign the callback function. The callback function that we created is the one that we're going to use also so that when an MQTT message is received, then this function will get called. In the loop function, as you can see in here, we are just going to continually loop and wait for messages from our MQTT broker. If for some reason, our MQTT connection gets disconnected, then we will just need to call the reconnect method. The last part of the program, which you can see in here, will just continually loop for 10 seconds and then read the value of our built-in all effect sensor. And using the value that we have read from our built-in Hall effect sensor, then we're going to call the, met the method client.publish and we are going to publish into the particular topic which is the published topic Hall effect. That really is how the code works and how you can connect, publish, and subscribe to your MQTT broker using the Arduino framework. Using any of the Wi-Fi capable boards such as the ESP32 and ESP8266. The companion write-up of this video contains much detailed explanation of the project. The write-up and code can be found in the description of this video. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!